Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this gift bag, these dowel rods, and this sign. The gift bag I got from Walmart, I believe, and cut out the front of it. Placed it over my sign, which is just a leftover fall sign from Dollar Tree. It's about 11 by 11. Once I had the image placed where I want it, I flipped it over and traced it out and cut that image out. The sign had some glitter on it, so I just used my micro sander and sanded it off. Wiped the sign clean and then used some tacky glue, placing it all on the front and spreading it out to make sure it was completely covered. And then placed down my image and just smoothed it out with my hands. After I had it all placed down, I just cut off the excess around the sign. And I took these dowel rods, I used two of them, and they're 3 8 of an inch by 3 feet. And these are from Hobby Lobby. I just held them up to the sign and marked them off and used my miter shears to cut them. Those I get from Amazon. Once I had those two cut, I placed them back down on the sign and held another piece of the dowel rod down to get these sides. And I did end up having to use two of the dowel rods. One just wasn't enough. After I had them cut, I just sanded off the edges and then placed them back in the shape of the sign. So this will be the frame. I used some wood glue and glued that shape together and then taped it off on the corners and let it dry for about a half an hour before I worked with it again. After I let it dry for a little bit, I took ivory chalk paint by Waverly and a sponge and just brushed on the frame, everything except for the back because that'll be glued down. I did two coats, drying it completely. I then used this Extreme Glitter by Folk Art, which I got from Amazon, and just brushed it all along the frame where I had painted it. It does dry clear, and it just gives it a little bit of a sparkle. Once that was dry, I flipped it over, added hot glue all around the back of it, and then placed it back down on my sign. And that's it for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching.